This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Alo Alo is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Guy Sinner played the character Lieutenant Hubert Gruber in the sitcom when he was 35 in 1982. See, at 76 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in New York City, USA. <laughs> there is a plot afoot, René, that could get you into great danger. The Gestapo are going to... A book about Kenneth Connor that his son, his ghostwriter, well, is, is, is writing uh, a biography of Ken Connor. And uh, I said, true. Arthur Bostrom played the character Officer Crabtree in the sitcom when he was 30 years old in 1989. See, at 69 years old, he's living a fulfilling life for the passion right here in Warwickshire, England. I am being fellowed. A very large German sentry has been chitting me up. Chaos ensues because people getting found out, you know, the wife turns up, you know, the, the manager of the hotel who's very sort of prim and... Gordon Kay played the character René Artois in the sitcom when he was 41 years old in 1982. Sadly, on January 23rd, 2017, he left us due to cancer at 75 in Nairsboro, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. A great strain. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> The reason for this will be easy to understand if hard to believe. The resistance have developed a new telescopic radio aerial. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> I did not know you spelled that like that. Yes. Kim Hartman played the character Private Helga Gerhardt in the sitcom when she was 30 in 1982. See, at 72 years old, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, England. Well done, Helga. When do you intend to put into operation your ingenious plan to commandeer a captured British Fellington bomber with artificial... Madonna with you, with the big boobies? Oh, so follow Madonna with the big boobies. No, she's coming to the photo shoot. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> so, um, what was... Kenneth Connor played the character Monsieur Alphonse in the sitcom when he was 66 in 1984. Sadly, on November 28, 1993, he left us due to cancer at 75 in Greater London, England. The stairs would be too much for me. Well, I think you are showing a yellow streak. <laughs> God, you tell me, monsieur. <laughs> I come from a long line of prayer. I suppose some having been in the entertainment side, ENSA and mm -hmm. CSE and so on, which came afterwards, didn't it? CSE? Oh, yes, and military shows, of course, yes. done for ourselves. Yeah. You'd Richard Gibson played the character Her Otto Flick in the sitcom when he was 28 in 1982. See, at 70 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Kampala, Uganda. Your note indicated that you wish to discuss with me something of great importance. Yes, I do. I tried to do it continuously, so when you went from one scene to another, um, if possible, they used to say, can you run across and go straight into the next scene? Oh, they did. Rather right, than yeah. Carmen Silvera played the character Edith Artois in the sitcom when she was 60 years old in 1982. Sadly, on August 3rd, 2002, she left us due to lung cancer at 80 in Danville House, Northwood, London, England. We're deeply saddened by her passing. not give her my clubs, would you? Oh, definitely not. Oh, really? Mm. Because of your love for me. Song. Song. Singer? Sing. Second, second word. Second word. Sounds, Sounds like. like... Eat. Eat. Taste. Pick. John D. Collins played the character of Flying Officer Fairfax in the sitcom when he was 40 years old in 1982. See, at 81 years old, he's living a fulfilling life for the passion right here in London, England. Give me your hanky. Certainly not. What are we looking for? We're looking for a flashing goose. <laughs> and I'm very 
happy to be joining the Reflections Talent Agency. And, uh, my God, it's an impulse laser! Vicky Michelle played the character Yvette Karsh Blanche in the sitcom when she was 32 in 1982. See, at 73 years old, she's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Essex, England. Before I joined the Resistance, I was assistant to a very famous osteopath. I'm sure I can help him. Oh, see what you can do. He's in there. It's my, yes, she's, she's, she's my release. <laughs> <laughs> Since I kept uh, practicing on the husband, so I'm sort of becoming Joe at home, which is not good. Kirsten Cook played the character Michelle Dubois in the sitcom when she was 30 years old in 1982. See, at 71 years old, she's living a fulfilling life for the passion right here in Sussex, England. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. <laughs> Here is the plan. When the Gestapo, disguised as British Airmen, of Europe to the core, the heroic attempts of the resistance, risking their lives every day, and all you want to know is what is under my ring. Sue Hodge played the character Mimi LeBanc in the sitcom when she was 30 years old in 1987. See, at 66, she's living a fulfilling life for the passion right here in Orsett, Essex. With one tooth? Well, you did look a bit like your mother. <laughs> Embrace me, Rene. Oh, oh, all right. Here, stand on the stool. Do you want to come on this cruise with? I mean, who wouldn't want to go with John Chalice and yeah. Sue Holden, etc., etc.? You'd be okay then. <laughs> so okay, then. I wrote this because I thought, what am I going to do? So mm. I wrote. Richard Marner played the character Colonel Kurt von Strom in the sitcom when she was 61 in 1982. Sadly, on March 18, 2004, he left us due to natural causes at 82 in Perth, Scotland. Were deeply saddened by his passing. <laughs> if I get too close with my troops, they will spot us. And if I'm too far away, we will lose them. Rose Hill played the character Madame Fanny in the sitcom when she was 68 in 1982. Sadly, on December 22nd, 2003, she left us due to natural causes at 89 in Northwood, London, England. Were deeply saddened by her passing. This one, they will make up the dresses for the bridesmaids. It feels very hard wearing. Oh, it is. It is good. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Alo Alo? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.